Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got a special guest in the building, man. Hey, special guest, can you introduce yourself? Let the people know where they can follow you as well. Okay, what's up, guys? What's going on, man? You know who it is, man. You know what you came to see. This is Rockstar Harry, the great King Lil J's manager. Don't forget to see the album, The Face. The Face is coming soon. Um, it's going to be a very important album for the culture. Very important album. And I want to make sure you guys follow um, WTO underscore CEO, Little J 063 on Instagram, and also Rockstar Harry on Instagram as well. Dope, dope, bro. Salute. Appreciate you stopping through. Um, we could get started. Like, let's get started with like your background, bro. Like, you've been a manager um before Lil J, or was that the first person you started managing? Well, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm gonna take it all the way back. Um, before it like, you know, me and Jay's family, we have one of the biggest families in Chicago, as far as like the black family, real big, real big family. And um Jay's father and my father, um, or like brothers, same last name and everything. Um, Jay used to rap. No, Jay's father used to DJ, and my father used to rap. So they used to do music together. So one day I'm doing my own shit. You know, I have um, I used to have a studio on the West Side called the Motive Studios, um, and I was just an artist. I used to sell CDs in the streets. I'm like I was really out here grinding for real. So his old man ended up calling me because he seen my videos. He was like, "Man, Trey, you you snapping? You doing your thing, man? You you to go be around your little cousin." So I was like, oh, you talking about Jeff, whatever? He was like, yeah. So I go to his crib, and he's showing me all these videos of, like, the, um, I think it was, like, 2013 or whatever. So he's showing me all these videos, man. And um, after that day, he ended up hitting up Jay, like, hey, man, you got you to link with your cousin. And um, mm -hmm. after that, man, it was it was over with. It was over with after that. Got you, got you. So you was, like, you come from the uh, videographer background, like, doing the videos, the music videos first? No, what happened was, man, to be honest with you, like I said, I was an artist, and then I went from being an artist to being in partnership with a production company, where we had um, videography. We had uh, my partner was a was a video man, you know what I'm saying? So I was pretty much engineering people, and he was over there doing the video aspect. We used to rent it out, um, you know. We used to do a lot of business, man. Actually, um, we actually shot a couple of little J videos in there too. Um, also. Um, that um uh, being that black shot video in there as well too so you know we, we, we was doing our thing as far as the manager situation um now i used to manage this this um this singer her name was Valon or whatever you know what i'm saying and um you know i was dating and shit like that but you know she was cold so far as being jay's manager jay really never had a real manager so what happened was he seen how intellectual i was because you know i'm a little bit older than him but it's, i'm a real smart guy so I was like the first person to actually get his music published properly. I mean, I mean, um, published um, properly, like on CD Baby and like Distro Kid, shit like that. Like actually getting his songs on these platforms. So um, I was basically being of um, his second brain. You know what I'm saying? Like if he needed something, show him how to do it the right way. Show him how to do it a professional way. Just having that intellect, because usually he just around a, a lot of you know young young guys that's in the street and shit like that. So I was the guy that's like, hey, cuz, what's up with this? And I try to you know elevate it. And um, just help him with this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because I knew, I knew where he was going. You know what I'm saying? That's why all these years I just kept going crazy. Because I'm like, bro, man, you got it. Like, I was telling him, man, like, bro, y'all legends, you don't even see it. You feel what I'm saying? No, for sure, for sure. And um, you know that that movement definitely was moving fast. Did you see like when when your um when your father told you to get up with your cousin, Lil J, King Lil J? Did you basically see the same thing that everybody else was seeing when you when you first seen his videos? Like far as like this dude gonna blow up, this is something different. You know, you know what I seen was is just to me it wasn't even more about the business; it was more about the legacy. You know, because I come from a rich legacy, not rich like financially, but like it's a lot of love in my family. You feel what I'm saying? So when I seen Jay, I seen me. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm like, hey, bro, man, this means so much to me. Like this shit is bigger than money. It's it's, it's about you know keeping a stamp on the city. I love my city. I do stuff for the city in real time. So, you know, it was more like a, a reconnection of like his father and my father, but reincarnated, you know? It's like we have a whole new generation of McGraws and we out here really getting down. You feel what I'm saying? So it was more about legacy other than just like, oh man, he's a star. You know, it's like, you know, all my all my team, all my members are stars. Everybody I hang around with, man, they, they something to me. 
No, that's dope. That's dope, bro. That's dope. And then, you know, so now you're working with Lil J and uh King Lil J, and then he gets into this situation where he gotta go sit down for some time. Like, what's the relationship then? Like, you still putting out the music? Well, what happened was during that time, you know, it was a lot going on. It was a lot going on. And me and Jay, you know, kind of had bump heads a little bit because, you know, there are a video that I did say that, hey, I'm not managing anymore, stuff like that. But, you know, I was doing that to let people know that, hey, stop hitting me up. Hey, um, I'm not responsible for what happens after this. And at, shortly after that, unfortunately, he got incarcerated. Um, and, you know, when he had incarcerated, you know, we reconnected because in the day, you know, we don't, we don't leave our family. You know what I'm saying? It, it, this shit is this shit is bigger than just, you know, pride and ego. You got to put that shit to the side. You know, and I understand, like, you know, certain people got to go through certain mental um, learning gaps, you know? So I didn't judge him. I said, man, he just a shorty. He just he just needs some guidance. He just needs to be around the right people. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, through them years, we was just getting ready. You know what I'm saying? We was getting ready for, for his return. We was rooting for his return, you know? A lot of people before, I caught a lot of slack because they was like, Bro, you keep saying he coming out next year. He see coming out two or three years. It's a couple people that really know like the stuff that we needed to really get him out. You know, like the 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 um the court system is a mug, bro. You know, free cash too. I mean, not free cash, RP cash. You know what I'm saying? During that time, um, you know, I was in tune with him, man, and he was definitely trying to come through for us on a certain situation. You know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, you know, we just tried to make sure keep him relevant because I don't bet against myself. I don't give a damn what the hell's going on. If mm -hmm. I play, if I play, I win. And that's just what it is. Oh, dope, dope. And then, so now, like, I definitely can see that y'all definitely had a strong plan before his release because now he gets released and, you know, the music is on point. Like, it's like the marketing is there. You know, he's going, like, his videos doing a million, million and a half, two million views. And, you know, for him to be an underground artist, like when it's compared to his peers, he, he looking like the stronger one. So it's like, um, was that the plan the whole time though to make that make sure that that happened uh, uh, when he released when he was released? Yeah, man, it was like you know, it was strategic marketing, and um, before he got out, you know, I never forget this story. So before he got out of jail, I was looking for engineers. Now, there's some people that know me, man. Like I really. I really do this music stuff. I really connect. Like, I really know a lot of people that are really solid. So, like, I introduced Jay to Polo before he got to jail. I introduced Jay to a bunch of different, different people that made some really quality music for him. But that being said, I end up saying, like, you know what? Jay for the come out, he have, he have been, like, people turned his back. I want to make sure I surround him about, surround him with new faces, new producers. So what I did, I went and called Polo Boy. And uh, I was on the phone with his mama, and we was all talking because he was gonna come out within like a month. So I'm like, I right, I gotta make sure he has recording. When he comes home, he needs to be able to record. He needs to be able to produce, um, um, to produce um a, a product, you know, at, at any time. So the day that I was gonna call Polo, like I haven't talked to Polo in probably like a year and a half, man. The day I was, I told him, I'm like, man, I'm gonna hit up Polo, and we finna do this shit. Polo called me out of nowhere, like literally two hours later. He was like, he was like, what's up, bro? Um, shit, what's up with Jay? I'm, I told him, I said, bro, I was literally just finna call you, bro. It was a universe. You feel what I'm saying? I swear to God. And um, uh, and they did tell you too, because I was telling him, I said, bro, this shit finna be, this is amazing. I said, we finna go crazy. So what we did is we literally um um foreshadowed the outcome. You know, cause that's what these labels do. These guys are geniuses mentally. They're they're mental geniuses. So you have to you have to um, anticipate the rollout. That's why they have so such a big team to think about. Okay, what we do this, what we do this. So I consider myself a um, a creative genius. So I was like, all right, bro. We know they're gonna talk to you about this. We know you, we've talked to you about that. Let's figure out what's the proper way to do it. You feel what I'm saying? And you know. Everything that happened, man, it was it was um it was based off strategic. It was based off love, man. And if it showed you how strong Jay is without everybody else, because he literally stuck with the same video, man, the same producers, and was on the chart four for four, man. We didn't touch not one other producer. We was four for four. 
Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. And uh, I was like, wow, this shit is crazy. And, um, you know, just the impact. Like, even when you go to the engagement, you go down and you look at the comments. It's just, man, the fans is there. They they going crazy. They want to ride for them. They want to see them put out more music. They want to see them win. And um, that, that definitely was a good look, him coming home. You got to serve in all that time, man. For sure. Yeah, absolutely, man. And um, I know it was destiny, bro, because before he got out of jail, I wasn't in a I wasn't in a predicament where I could be this free. You feel what I'm saying? Like I was in a situation where, you know, I had to go, I had a job, I had to work. But it was like the stars allowed me, allowed me to have assets, to have relationships, to have the time, bro. To have the time to fully, you know, do this shit full time for him. You feel what I'm saying? Like literally taking him to when he came home, take him to the studio, take him to the studio. We go into the hotel, we're recording. We're just getting the shit done, getting the job done, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And um, you know, what makes cause Jay's a genius too. Like, that's why like I always got his back, man, because in reality, he's a real genius. And the reason why he's a genius is because, you know, he made it come to life. You feel me? It's like Everybody can be in your ear telling you to do this, do that, but it takes the person, uh, it takes the person to actually do it to make it count. You feel what I'm saying? So, I, out of all this shit, hold on, hold on, my, my brother called me. Could you hold on, quick, hold on, could you? My bad, bro. No Hello? problem. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, so like I said, bro. Um, he's a genius for actually making it come to life, bro. Because a lot of people have been like, oh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, he's he's fearless, man. Like, I can't even lie. Even that skit that you've seen, bro. A lot of people would have been scared to even let that hit the internet, man. That man wants to be oh, a yeah, star, Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yep, you're right. That's that man cute. wants to be a that star, was cold, bro. <laughs> he wants that to was, be a star, man. Come on, man. That was some creative shit, too. You know, especially he just coming home and the integrate that with what's going on. That shit was crazy. I like that. Angle. Yeah, and we were just and we was just getting started, man. Like the shit we got lined up, bro. If we would have changed the surface, you know, because a lot of people judge the drill scene so bogus, bro. It's like I look at drill as like gangster music, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like not, not gangster music, but like mm -hmm. uh, war, like like warrior music. You know, like people people will listen to drill when they work out. People listen to drill when they're overseas, when they're training. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a place for this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just about it's about uh, separating yourself from reality, bro. So, you know, I look at I look at drill like I look at Scarface and Godfathers and Goodfellas and shit. Some of the some of the great shit. You feel me? Yep, yep. No, no doubt. And like um, you know, moving forward, the unfortunate event that took place maybe about a little over a week ago, we hear that King Lil J, you know, he was arrested for a firearm. Like, can you speak on that situation and give us any updates? Yeah, I got you, brother. So, once again, for the thousandth time, you know, no disrespect, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, that's all good. He didn't have the firearm once again, um, and he wasn't driving. He wasn't by himself. It was easily as a, it's, it could be easily as a situation as me coming to your house and your neighbor see us talking. And your neighbor calls the police and the, and the neighbor could have told your police anything. And then the police come and they do what they do. That could have easily been like that. You feel what I'm saying? Right. They find what they're fine. So imagine me being in your hood. What if I'm in, what if I'm in your hood, G, right? What if I'm in your hood? I pull up to your hood and we outside talking. And then one of the neighbors call the police on us like we selling drugs or something or doing something, but we're not. So the police can come and and be told it was a gun and look for a gun around the hood. And all of a sudden find a gun and say, you know mm -hmm. what, this must, this must be the gun of, of his. You feel what I'm saying? Right, so right, right. It could be so many different scenarios that like, I want people to realize that bomb was only 50K, which is $5,000. Come on, man. Why he on parole, man? Come on, man. For real. No, I got you, I got you. And um, right now, as it's thing, like I seen an update earlier, they were saying that it had updated on the, um on the website that is saying his project projected out date is two years from now. Is there any truth well, behind that? Once again, once again, once again, brother, that date that you see is, is his parole date. So that date always existed. You feel what I'm saying? That date always existed because he was on parole. 
So if you violate your parole, you will have to serve that time based on violating your parole. You feel what I'm saying? Right, now, right. A lot of things that people don't know too. Um, if that was the case, it wouldn't even be 2024. It actually would be more like uh, January, February, March, like March, March or April. It's like eight months. So worst case scenario in reality, bro. If his if his parole was allegedly violated, we're talking about maybe six to seven months. I'm serious. And like I say, I'm not I'm not claiming that. I'm not speaking like that's going to exist because we know what we know, and um, you know I know what the I know what the uh, computer says and shit like that. But you know, it's 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 shit that's deeper than that, man. You got you got to know what you're talking about. You feel me? Oh, for sure, for sure. And um, like far as music, like okay, if you do have to sit down for a little minute. Like far as music, uh, do y'all have like like he does? Did he shoot videos? A lot of videos? Did he record a lot? No, oh, you got things in the tuck. Well, right now, um, we have three videos. We have the away video, uh, which is a it's a really good video, man. And you know, I think people should should, should kind of support that type of narrative. You know, Jay is a real man. He's a he's one of them boys, man. And the fact that he's willing to give, give you that type of fun content and shit like that, man, you gotta, we got to applaud shit like that, bro. You feel me? Because that's the start. But anyway, we have the Away video. We have the Smoking on Satoshi video. Um, we also have Fatty on My Daddy. And we have another special video as well. So we about to have about four videos in total. That Actually, five. Damn, five. Because um, we're supposed to go finish shooting this other one. So, yeah, we have about five videos, bro. So anyway... We're, we're, we're equipped to make sure that his fans is entertained and you guys see some good shit, bro. Oh, dope, bro. And before you get up out of here, I want to ask you a question. Like, how did I know that um, King Lil J, he added the skit with the Charleston White, Charleston White speaking negative on him when he first got out of jail. Like, how did he feel about Charleston White? I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Me, me and Charleston White, we was... um. Not, not, not me and Charleston White, but me and Jay about Charleston White, man. It, that, that shit was a long ass debate. I ain't gonna lie because I play chess. I don't play checkers, bro. Especially, especially when it comes down to like millions of dollars and thousands of dollars. You know, I think, I think Jay. Hold on, damn, damn, my brother. I think Jay was um wanted to get the fans what they want, bro. The same way that Charleston White wanted to get the fans what they want when he's when he's you know talking his shit, he doing his thing. That's what Jay wanted to do. Hey, bro, my side, Jay. Uh, give me a second, I bet. So he he basically was giving the fans what he want, man. We want the suspense. We want the entertainment. Cause guess who, guess who that helps out? That helps out people like you. That helps out other content creators. The controversy. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like we don't got no no ill will against Charleston White. I really think Charleston White is um likes Little J, and I'm gonna tell you why I think he really likes him and he really wants him to win because. Even after that shit that happened, he I haven't heard shit from him. He haven't he haven't even came at Jay. He haven't he haven't threw a party because he got locked up. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you know that shows a lot to me. And um, I think I think um I think he want Lil J to win, and um you know show the world that um you know this is how you do it. Like like he he is the face, bro. He is the face, bro. Like there will be no drill without ops. There will be no drill. These guys literally, bro, like, come on, man. I watched, I seen this shit with my eyes, bro. Like, I was sitting back, because I was the oldest, bro, out of all of them, bro. I I, I ran across Duck before. I ran across uh, Billy before. Like, I didn't really had too much time with Billy. He was a cool dude. He, he always had that energy. Dex before, all that shit, man. And I was just sitting back, and I was just like, they don't even, like, I don't think they even know where this shit finna go. You know, but they was real life in the trenches, real life, like putting their life on the line for y'all, bro. Well, I ain't gonna say for y'all because you know they got families and shit, but like they really was about their art, man. Right. Their art was like, like for real, like you can't make this shit up, bro. Money can't buy that shit, bro. Money can't bring Doug back. Money can't bring that that type of experience back. What's up, G? We're doing this interview. We got a couple minutes. I don't. I don't All right, we going. You ready? I'm not going nowhere. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to do the shit, please. My bad. My bad, bro. Hold on, gang. Yeah, back to uh, um, um, back what I was saying. 
Um, man, like, it's an honor, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it was an honor. You know, when I sit back now and, and seen what happened to Duck, and I seen, like, I had a, I, I seen how Lil J was literally, like, big homie and butter and big homie and um, famous Dex and shit like that. Like, when I sit back and watch that shit, I'm like, man, bro, these niggas was real young. Man, bro, like, it's, man, bro. They got it, yeah, bro. Man, unfortunately, got unfortunately it, bro. situation, you right. They got is it, bro. Any, is there any message that King Lil J want to leave his fans with? Like, he spoke to you, like, let the fans know this. Is it anything you want to tell them? Yeah, I spoke to him today, man. You know, unfortunately, the dialogue is pretty limited because he's basically, as of this moment, one phone call a week for five minutes. So we're trying our best to communicate effectively. Um, but one thing that he want to tell his fans is it's not over. We are just getting started. And if you love drill, you're going to support this shit. I don't give a fuck if you own the other side or not. This shit is what Jay represents is drill. Is is drill for real, for real. These guys went against multi-million industries, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. Like I got people, like I got engineer folks. I remember before Jay was coming out because I got I got certain industry ties too. And one of my one of my um one of my boys, he's an engineer. Uh he's a white guy, older white guy, man. Shout out to my boy Tim. He was, I was telling him about Jay. I said, hey man, see so you get some plugs and get some connects for me. Man, he called me back and say, hey man, look, bro. He talked to his people. They say, stay away from him, stay away from him. And I was more like, what the fuck? But it was just showing me how much influences, how much the influence the people against him have. Where it's like, motherfuckers can't even get in the door. Motherfuckers is, is scaring the people that we trying to get to work for him. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So it, it kind of lit a fire on me. Say, man, fuck this shit, man. We're going we gonna to do this shit. We're going to do this. We're going to have the rawest album. We're going to have the rawest shit. You know what I'm saying? It lit a fire under me, man. So that's why you see me up here doing what the fuck I got to do. That's why you see me up here getting my shit off. And y'all going to see a lot more. I'm telling you right now. This album is going to be a fucking classic, bro. I'm for real, for real. Right. And, um... One more question. Um, when it comes to like the labels, like they were saying that he had signed a deal prior to this whole situation a few days prior, is this true? Oh no, no, it was it was over a few, a few days. Like if you actually go on his Instagram, the day, the day that he posted, um, the 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 face. If you look carefully in the description on his Instagram, he stated that he's with Creative Music Group. You know what I'm oh. saying? He, he stated that. So, the label is extremely excited and, you know, these guys are, are going to support us full and full and, um, you know, we just can't wait to see what happens after this album drops, man. But, you know, this 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 is, Jay is the streets. Like, for real, for real. He is the streets for real, bro. Oh, for sure, bro. I appreciate you coming through, bro, showing love. Um, definitely want to keep, keep us updated, um, uh, you know, in the future, you can definitely tap in and do it again. You know, hey, I got a question for you, man. I got a question Go for you, guy. Yeah? Hey, so out of his newest, out of all his newest songs, what's his hardest one to you, G? Um, I kind of like to be honest with you. I like that one with the Charleston White, the um, like because the, the way the beat, yeah, the way the beat change up, because he go in, he rapping like a little slow, then all of a sudden after that, that shit off the um, after the skit drop. Inside the music, he gonna start going crazy in the beat like that's right there. That's just one. That's the one I actually shared on my page on my community wall when it dropped. Yeah, man, it's definitely it definitely gave me bars of clock vibes for sure, for sure. Yep, yep. For sure, for sure. But yeah, man, I appreciate you, man. Make sure make sure you guys follow um Lil J 063, man. Make sure you guys um hashtag the face. You know, we're gonna have a lot of things to give away, man. We're gonna have novelty items. We're gonna have a lot of shit, bro. For real, for real. So. Make sure y'all go to KingLilJ.com or oh, IntianBeefPepsi.com too, man. Don't forget that, bro. We got that. Oh, y'all got that too? Come on. We own that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what's up, bro. You know what I'm yes, saying? We own, hey, look, we own some more shit, but we ain't, just, we ain't tell y'all yet. You know, this, this <laughs> shit test, bro. For real. That's what's up, bro. I, I like to see that, man. Definitely successful. Keep the movement going. No free King Lil J. That's right. 
Salute, bro. Let me have a good one. Too, bro.